Hi, my name is Katie Miller. I'm president of the Law Institute of Victoria, and it's my great pleasure to be here with Professor Gillian Triggs, president of the Australian Human Rights Commission. Uh, and we're just about to hear from Professor Triggs as part of our President's Lunch seminar series. Uh, but before we do that, I did have a couple of quick questions for Professor Triggs. Um, Professor, do you mind if I just kick off? Uh, I'd be delighted to have you ask me some questions. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Um, and obviously, I mean, you're president of the Australian Human Rights Commission, which is an independent statutory authority. Um, how important do you think it is to have an independent body to hold the government to account mm -hmm. on human rights issues? Well, I think it's, it's critically important. Um, there are 110 national human rights bodies around the world. Um, but I, I do believe it's true that it's especially important for Australia to have a national human rights body that's independent and able to hold uh, the business community, um, uh, educational institutions, government bodies to account for compliance with human rights law. And the reason I say that it's special for Australia is that unlike all comparable legal systems, Australia doesn't have a Bill of Rights or a Charter of Rights and most of the international human rights law that as part of my mandate under our statute is not part of Australian law. Mm. So that we're a little bit like ships passing in the night. When I say something breaches international law, a minister might say, well, uh, that's very interesting, but that treaty is not part of Australian law. So while in other countries you've got courts able to apply bills of rights, you've got legislation that gives effect to international treaties, uh, you've got regional courts like the European Court of Human Rights or the Inter-American Court of Human Rights. In Australia and in our Asian region we have nothing of that kind. Mm. So that is why I say that it is especially important that uh, the Australian Human Rights Commission be respected as an independent body mm. and properly financed to be able to play that role. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. And finally, what do you think lawyers can do to better promote um, and protect human rights practice in Australia? Well, I, I think the point about being a lawyer is that this profession is better able to understand where rights are being violated than perhaps is true of other uh, groups within the community. Uh, we don't have very good education in Australia about our constitution or about fundamental rights and I think that's a real problem. Um, and if we were better educated you wouldn't need the lawyers to tell you that there's a problem. But I'm afraid at the moment uh, I do hold lawyers particularly responsible for speaking up because the lawyers do understand what the limits of our constitutional protections are and the importance of our judiciary in protecting our common law freedoms. And one thing that's perhaps not understood as well as it might be is that it was of course our judges and the courts that developed uh, core fundamental freedoms in the first place. It wasn't parliaments, and it certainly wasn't kings, and it wasn't executive governments, mm. it was the courts. And unfortunately in Australia we have an, a very uh, curious environment in which it seems to be um, quite common to criticise uh, our judges. Um, and I think that's a very, very unfortunate phenomenon in Australian democracy. But it, it brings me back to, to answering your question, and that is I, I, I've, I think it's more important than ever that our lawyers have an, a watching brief, an active watching brief, on all the legislation that's passing through Parliament where we have both sides of, uh, of, of, um, of Parliament, major parties, agreeing to quite serious breaches of common law freedoms mm. that our courts have hitherto been able to uphold but are now uh, being squeezed out of uh, making judgments about whether or not our common law rights are being protected.